So you may be wondering how Henry County Schools conducts close contact investigations, otherwise known as contact tracing. I am Jessica Stormer. I am the Executive Director for Student Services in the Division of Family and Student Support Services. Henry County Schools conducts close contact investigations in each case in which an individual who has tested positive has been on campus during their identified contagion window. The contagion window is the period of time in which someone who has received a positive COVID-19 result may have been contagious. The contagion window is determined by going back two days from the date that symptoms began for a symptomatic individual or going back two days from the date that the test was administered for an individual who is asymptomatic or not experiencing symptoms. Once we determine the contagion window, an investigation takes place for each day of that window that the positive individual was on campus to determine who was in close contact with that individual during that time. The components of a close contact investigation include an interview with the individual who has tested positive to determine the locations that they visited and the individuals that they interacted with. An assessment of the duration and spacing of the contact is conducted for each person that they interacted with, along with determining if both individuals were wearing masks for the duration of the contact. Seating charts may also be reviewed to determine who is in close contact with students or adults who have tested positive. And for our youngest learners, an interview with the classroom teacher may also be conducted. So after the investigation, who is considered to be a close contact? The answer to that is any individual who was less than three feet from a positive person for 15 minutes or more, where one or both individuals were not wearing a mask for the duration of that contact, any individual who fits that criteria would be determined to be a close contact and thus may be required to quarantine. If my child is a close contact, Will they have to quarantine? That's a question that we get regularly. If your child is fully vaccinated and is not showing any symptoms, then your child will not be required to quarantine as long as they remain asymptomatic. If your child is not fully vaccinated or if your child is fully vaccinated but is showing symptoms, then there is a 10 day quarantine requirement from the date of last contact. There is also an option to test out early of quarantine. In order to test out a quarantine, an individual may seek out a test to be administered no earlier than the fifth day of quarantine and return a negative result. If that test result is negative and the individual remains asymptomatic, that individual may return that very next day. So to recap, the test out procedure. To test out of quarantine early, an individual who was identified to be a close contact may have a test administered no earlier than the fifth day of quarantine. To return a negative result, remain asymptomatic, and may return the very next day. Now, to calculate day five, the day of last contact is considered day zero. The next day is considered day one. The test must be administered on day five or later in order to return that next day. So I hope this helps. Uh, to understand the process and criteria for determining close contacts um, during a close contact investigation. We are so grateful to have you as our partner to keep students healthy and learning in Henry.